Do you still have your Sony A6000 camera or are you planning to buy a new one? Now let's stick around and find out how you can make your Sony A6000 to become worth it. Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Now in today's video, I'm going to focus on the Sony A6000 camera. I've been using this camera for almost two years for both personal usage and for professional usage. Okay. So as you know that the Sony 6000 was introduced in 2014. It was a revolution for the mirrorless camera. It made a pathway for other mirrorless cameras to disrupt the DSLR camera lineup. At that time, DSLR cameras were still considered as a professional camera, whereas mirrorless cameras was labeled just a pocket camera for amateur usage. But then Sony launched their APS-C and full frame mirrorless camera and it totally changed the professional camera atmosphere and it became the king of autofocus. So, okay. Now I'm not going to compare or talk about the positive and negative side of the Sony 6000 with the other of its predecessor since it has already been discussed by other YouTubers. What I'm going to discuss or suggest is how you can make your Sony A6000 worth it so here's how. Number one, ditch your kit lens. Buy these two lenses. So I'm going to start by this lens, which is the Sigma 16mm f1.4. The Sigma 16mm 1.4 DCDN Contemporary is a high performance prime with a large aperture of 1.4 designed for APS-C mirrorless cameras for Sony E-mount. The contemporary line is part of the Sigma Global Vision and is the perfect blend of image quality and compact size. The large aperture is great for low light and for creating depth of field and its small size makes it highly portable. The optical design and stepping motor deliver smooth autofocus during video shooting. Using face recognition, autofocus results in consistent autofocusing on faces even as the subjects move. And the other lens is the Sony E 35mm f1.8 High performance and a compact design make the Sony E 35mm f1.8 OSS prime lens an ideal second lens that is easy to carry around when capturing the action. It's ideal for a wide variety of photos including snapshots while strolling, night shots. Thanks to the bright maximum aperture and the portraits with superb background or foreground blur. Number two, get a battery grip. Currently, I'm using a battery grip from the brand Makey, the Makey MK A6300 Vertical Shooting Grip Power Pack. The battery pack is compatible with the Sony A6000 and the A6300 which offers you the same control experience as horizontal shooting. This battery grip can hold one or two NPFW50 rechargeable lithium lion batteries. It is equipped with wired controlled shutter release button for shooting in a vertical position. Sealing technique prevents water and dust into the battery grip. Now the battery grip has a 2.4 GHz remote control with a maximum distance of up to 100 meters. With vertical shooting function, excellent coating made with a top class rubber for perfect feeling. Now in my experience, I use this to impress the client since some of the clients will underestimate small cameras which they consider as amateur cameras or looking like a pocket camera. Now if you install this battery grip, it will look bigger as if it was a full frame or a DSLR camera. Number three, update your system software. If you have purchased your Sony A6000 and you still have the 3.20 version, it's best you go to the Sony website and upgrade the software to the 3.21 version you will see a difference in the autofocus speed and I've definitely done it and see really big difference
Here are some sample photos taken from my website with the Sony A6000 paired with the Sigma 16mm f1.4 and Sony E35 mm f1.8. You might also want to check out my photos on Instagram where I use the Sony A6000 most of the time. So those are the things that make the Sony 6000 worth it. What do you think? If you have any suggestion, put your comments below. If you like this video, please click like and please subscribe to my channel. Alright, see you soon.